Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Lacavelli. Y'all already know the P is for Pyro, like always, and the O is for Oregon Ducks. We here for another react, but this time, this reaction video is gonna be a little different. I don't know if it's gonna be two parts of it, maybe long. We're gonna try to jump into it. But for all my Oregon Duck fans, you know, majority of everybody, Tyler Shuck, as y'all see in the background, so far, he's our starting quarterback. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Um, we fit to jump into the tape as we know. We got a lot of great recruits, quarterbacks that signed to us, that's behind them, that's on the team now. We got Thompson coming out of Arizona, like your boy Shuck came out of Arizona. And they're big on him, they're big on a QB in 2022. But anyways, your boy Brown from BC has came to Oregon. He's a, a fifth year senior, or uh, he got what, one more year I believe, yeah, graduate, graduate transfer. And he has, Experience underneath his belt in ACC, you know what I'm saying, stats check out. Uh, Shuck really don't have stats that check out for him. He's behind. He's been behind Herbert, we understand that. And I just want to try to dissect what everybody see and say that Shuck is our QB1. I understand he played behind Herbert. We have no other quarterbacks. He's QB1, but why are a lot of y'all saying he's QB1? Leave me a comment, and I just want to know why is he QB1, you know what I'm saying? He got the frame, you know, I wrote it down. Shuck, 6'5", 187, was a four-star to Arizona. He was number one quarterback in Arizona. He's a pro-style quarterback. He was the seventh best pro-style quarterback in the country in his class, decommitted from USC. Uh, he has played in four games, 12 for 15, 80, 80, uh, 80% completion rate, uh, 144 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. That is Shuck. Now, before we jump into Brown tape, I'm gonna give y'all Brown stats and what what he's all done and accomplished. Brown, 6'2", 210, three-star out of high school, class of 2016. He's a dual threat. He was number number 23rd dual threat in the country. He was the 19th best in New Jersey. Starting in 28 games for Boston College. He's been starting at Boston College since he got there. And I don't see why everybody keeps saying Shuck is a starter. Don't get me wrong. I don't care who starts for us. It don't matter. Let the best man win. But I know the article came out from when Crystal Ball was on the podcast. And listen to me, fans. Listen to me because this is real. You know what I'm saying? I be I only know it is to be real. But I understand Crystal Ball said that Shuck is our leading guy. But, of course, he knows the system. But, remember, he knows the system, right? Technically, we got a new system with Crystal Ball. The run game might be the same with Mastro, whatnot, give or take. But we have a new system. It, it might, it might be a little different in some ways. But we got a whole new OC, who's an OC that coming from a head coaching role. So, in my give or take, I know Chris Ball is a good guy, but I know he's really giving Morehead the keys to that whole offense because Morehead has been a head coach. He know what it feel like to be in Chris Ball's seat. So it's not like, oh, we just got an OC from Hawaii or OC from somewhere else who's never been a head coach. No, we got a guy who's experienced and know what he's doing. So let's debunk the fact of Shuck is just the starting QB1 because he was behind Herbert. That don't mean nothing. And this coming from a guy who actually played before. I'm not trying to say this from a, a, a fan standpoint, but listen. I understand that Chris Ball said he's our leading guy. Going into the camp if we have a season, but listen, a lot of these coaches, Chris Ball and the recruiters, it don't matter who he is. These coaches tell kids, oh yeah, you might get playing time right away, you know what I'm saying, to butter them up to commit. Not saying that's right or wrong, but they do stuff like that because Stan Gills, they honestly do have a chance to play. If they ball a lot, you know what I'm saying, they will get a chance to play. That's not really like lying to a commit about that, like, oh, you're going to get in. Sometimes they tell kids, oh, you're going to get your name when you come in. Kids be falling for, oh, I'm going, I'm going to this school. I'm going to USC. I'm getting them a five. To get this school. They don't get them a five until they sophomore, junior year. It happens. So you guys got to understand, too, kids get lured into school from, I want to say lies, but it's like, it's two-sided, like, also, and don't get me wrong, I ain't trying to bash Chris Ball. Y'all don't do that. You know what I'm saying? That's not what I'm trying to say. But what I'm trying to say is, all he said was leading into the camp the competition, shuck his QB1. Well, he even said he was QB1. He's the leader. He's the leader. He didn't actually answer that question how y'all thought he answered, but y'all taking it and run with it. So, please, please, please understand that. 
Shark still got to prove himself just as much as Brown. Because my thing is, what have Shark done for y'all to be so confident that he's QB1? Honestly. Because me personally, if I had to pick, just going off me being a fan of any of the quarterbacks we got right now, it's Ashford. I can say by like Ashford's QB1, but we can go ahead and get these tapes. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, Shark played a few games. He flashed a little bit, but I never actually seen his high school tape. I seen the little that he did playing games, but let's actually get into him and let's go let go ahead and look in Brown too. Cause I actually haven't seen neither one of you guys play. So let's get it. Sorry for holding y'all up, but I just had to preach what was on mine because a lot of fans are just saying it from a stand fan point and not understanding what goes in depth of things. Can't go wrong with any quarterback though, man, because I'm a duck fan. Go ducks, go ducks. Let's get it. You ready? You ready? All right, let's get it. All right, now we're finna check out Tyler Shuck high school tape from the 40. Well, that boy got a little cannon, okay. Okay, Shuck out there in Arizona. Oh, that was a beautiful pass. That was a beautiful pass. Okay, you gonna step into the pocket? Okay. Mm-hmm. And tight coverage, too. And tight coverage. Oh, he's gonna run a little bit too. Oh, <laughs> look at Shark. Oh, what type of time Shark home, man? Oh, that was nice. Shark got a little Manzel in him. Ooh. <laughs> he ain't scared to run. That's what I like too. You know, Herbert wasn't scared to run, but they was just telling Herbert, like, bro, you don't need to be running, bro. Oh, that man got a cannon. He got a cannon. Oh, he'll take hits too. That number seven, nice too. I wanna know where he end up going. Probably fake could be a little bit better, but. What was running the Veer? Boys ran a little wing T2 with a little Veer formation. Yeah, some QB avoidance, but. Ooh. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. His center had to be short. Hey, shut making it a little easy out of high school. I know this old, but it's my first time just watching this, bro. Nice, nice, nice. That was nice. That was nice. That was nice. <sighs> that boy got a deep ball on him. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. He looked good, but he put them things out there. That's what we really need. Now we're on to your boy, Anthony Brown, out of Boston College. She's an Oregon Duck now as well, too. Shot my boy, Just Bum Productions. You know what I'm saying? That boy did give him the green light to react to his videos. Let's go ahead and check out this guy, man. Your boy, Anthony Brown. Let's get in depth. Let's see how he do. Let's go. Okay. Nice, nice. Bad coverage, though. Bad coverage. So that was easy. Okay, nice play action. Throwback. Oh. Oh, he got wiggles. On. Let's watch a little bit more. I ain't need Oh, nice bomb. Nice. Gets V-Tech. V-Tech. Nice. Let's go. I like that. Okay. Oh, deep ball's there all day. Yeah, he got better talent around him, too. I'm just saying, if he was a star, oh, I love the QB award. And he can run, too. Oh, he got wiggles. And he don't want to slide, too. He want it. He hungry. Okay, with the little play action. Oh, they send that boy on routes, too? Hey, more here in my house. Fun with him. I ain't going to lie. Get some canes. Let's see. Easy. Oh, he like, oh, so he know when it's time to run, he's going to run. He gonna send the... 
Hey, he ain't gonna sit in the pocket knowing ain't nobody open. Run. Oh, you play call. I wonder who they OC OC is over there at Boston College, man. And they getting that whoop by Vitek though. Oh, they like throwing a little throwback to him. You know, more here like his little trick plays too. Now I'm telling you. Nice, nice. Under under throwing a little bit. Under throwing a little bit. Could have been a little battle. Oh, you staring down the whole time too. You match is just terrible. Got a good play action on them too. Oh yeah. Did he get it to him? Wanna get it to him? Nice, nice. Temple, okay. They throw the throwback. They throw the throwback to him a lot. <sighs> nice back shoulder. Nice back shoulder. Everybody can't throw throws like that. I'm telling you now. A lot of QBs can't throw back shoulders. It's hard to it's hard to defend a back shoulder throw, anyways, as a defender too. Nice, easy. That was easy money right there. All right, we're going to check out some of his high school tape. When that boy was on the gridiron in high school and Friday Night Lights, shot the under radar off of the tape. Ooh. That boy had a cannon just like your boy Shuck, too. Okay. Boy like them, them uh, Wolverines. Oh, he can, stand, he can stand tall in the pocket, too. Oh, that was nice. Little read option. No, he not. Oh, what you see? Oh. That oh boy, he was, I ain't gonna lie. He was a little slow in high school compared to Boston College. But the Wiggles do not stop. That boy can wig. He has an arm. He, I don't know. Shuck probably got a better arm. But nonetheless, this boy's a dog. Easy. Easy. I'm gonna stop there. We're gonna break this video down. Me personally, me personally, like if it's just Brown and Shuck, that's we're talking with starting quarterback. You never know. Ashford, Butterfield, all the other guys are freshmen too. And this will technically be Shuck first time actually on the center lead the team. So you never know what true freshmen can do with true freshman guy as well too. But if we're going on Brown and Shuck, I'm going to go with Brown, honestly. In my opinion, just going off the experience that he has. Um, his tape doesn't lie. His stats doesn't lie. They're good. They're not bad at all. They're better than, than being average. You know what I'm saying? They're a little bit above average. They're great in my book. You know what I'm saying? But you also got to think about the talent he had. With him and those stats are good to be on a sorry ass boss college team. I'm sorry, they're not good. But now that he's at Oregon, them numbers can skyrocket. And no offense to Shuck, but it's like we still didn't see you. You know what I'm saying? Well, in the fan sense, you know what I'm saying? We saw you in those four games, but we never saw you experience playing. But to each his own, honestly. I don't care who starts, but if you if you're gonna ask me out of those two, because me, I like Ashford, you know what I'm saying? I like him the most, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, he's a baseball guy, you remind me of Wilson Murray. You, you you don't know how long we can have Ashford before baseball MLB takes him away. But with that being said, man, me, I'm going, I'm going Anthony Brown. Whoever do win the job, the starting job. And Moorhead Chris Ball, I trust. 
with that situation. But if we going off tape, man, it'd be Brown. You know what I'm saying? I understand that Shuck was behind Herbert, but that's all you really can say. Like, he's taller, you know what I'm saying? He's got the body type of Herbert, you know what I'm saying? But you never know. He's probably not Herbert himself. There's only one Herbert. But... I don't know, man. I'm like Bell the Peace Fire, like always. Thank y'all for tuning in. For the ones that still watch the video, y'all leave me a comment who y'all think will be QB1. You know what I'm saying? And the why. Don't tell me he's QB1 because he played behind Herbert. Let's talk in depth of why. Because for all I know is he played in four games, tune up games, and that's it. You got another guy coming from starting, playing in big time games. Hey, I don't know. So y'all, y'all let me know.